Hello everyone, it's Joseph at the Livingston Library with another online learning video. Here I am on the library's website, livingstonlibrary.org. From here I'm going to scroll down to the digital resources section and I'm going to click on online learning. The resource we're going to talk about in this video is Gale Courses. Uh, Gale Courses offers a variety of structured, uh, six week long courses taught by college professors. Uh, I'm going to click on this link. It's going to ask me for a library card number and to create an account. And then I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, similar to Universal Class, I had to go through a registration process with Gale courses involving putting in my library card number, creating a username and password. But now that I'm here, I can view the course catalog. And as you can see, there are a variety of subject areas to learn in. It shows us here some uh, uh, featured courses we can take. Uh, but you could also click on any of these categories. And I'll just choose digital photography here and see all the courses that are available. You can see each of these has start dates every month. The reason it has these is because these classes are different from Universal Class in that they are not self-paced. Instead, they are structured six-week long courses where you're given assignments week by week and lectures and to listen to, articles to read, and you complete the course week by week. So I'm just going to choose a course to enroll in. Um, the start date for this one is April 15th which is actually today. So I'm going to enroll in this class. It's asking me to select a start date. I'll click continue. Okay, you can see now that I've enrolled in the course, it's showing up under my active courses. Um, I can just click enter. Here we are at our learning path, which is like our roadmap for the uh, class. I can, you can see I have a couple of uh, orientation and pretest modules here, and then I also have a lesson one module. You can see future lessons are locked. Uh, these become unlocked at later dates in the course. I'm going to click on lesson one. You can see lesson one has some chapters for us to read. It also has some FAQs and an assignment to complete and a quiz. And if you scroll even more down, there is the discussion area. And this is for you to talk to other participants in the class and the instructor. One of the benefits of GEO courses is that the courses are taught by college instructors. And uh, you're able to um, ask them questions. And they will often respond to your posts in the discussion area. Now that I've done some of lesson one, uh, you can see it's giving me uh, this indicator to tell me how far I am in my lesson. If it was completed, this would be completely full and there would be a little green check mark in the middle indicating I had finished the lesson. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, the video today was mostly an overview of one of the uh, resources the library offers. Uh, but if you want uh, a little more detailed instruction on how to access the resource, from the library's homepage, you can click on this Tutorials tab. It will slide out and it'll show you a selection of video tutorials we have for all of our resources, including the resource we talked about today. Alrighty, bye bye.